We took an overnight flight from Singapore to Cebu City. When we arrived at Cebu Airport, we went to Cebu South Bus Terminal to take a public bus to go to Oslo Town. After arriving in Oslo Town, we left our bags in the hotel and went to Whale Watching Center. These giant whales are not dangerous to humans, but it is strictly prohibited from wearing sun cream and touching them. Afternoon, we went to Tamalo Waterfall. The walking trail to waterfall was very steep, and it was a short ride from Wilshire Walking Watching Center. Lots of local advised us not to go because there is no more water, as the water has been used to supply the Oslo town. But it is a lovely place in the forest, and definitely deserve a visit. Sumilan Island is a private resort island and it is a 30 minute boat ride from the main island. Water in Sumilan Island was very blue, clean and clear. We swam in the lagoon and chilled in the swimming pool. We spent our whole day in an island and went back in the evening to the main island. The next morning, we take a public bus from Oslo town to Bato and from Bato to Movo, which is our next destination. Sibu is an island with lots of mountains, so there is only one highway available. And this is the place we stay in Mobo. It is a lovely resort, and I highly recommend it. And then for Mobo, we went to Kawasan Fall, which is a 45 minutes drive. Kawasan Fall is a lovely waterfall because of its blue water color, but the water there is very, very cold and it is very commercialized. If you are an adventurous person, you can do a canyoneering, which is a very popular activity in the region. And then we went to White Sand Beach Mobile. In the evening, we enjoyed the beautiful sunset from our resort. This morning, we went to a boat and went to Pascado Island. It is a world-class diving site, so there are lots of dive schools available in Mobile Town. We are non diver but we love our snorkeling. We saw lots of colorful fishes, starfishes, and beautiful coral. Our second stop was the sardine run, where there are millions of sardines on site. It was the high level of the trip and definitely a lifetime experience. It is also located near the shore, so you don't need to take a boat to reach. And then, we went to the turtle point and swim along with the two turtles. I, we can free dive, so this video was taken by our guide. This part of the water was very deep, so it is advisable to get a local guide if you are not a good swimmer. In the afternoon, we checked out from the hotel and went back to Cebu City. We spent the evening in the city. The whole town was lighted with Christmas lights and songs. The next morning, we visited the churches of Cebu and in the evening, we fly back to Singapore. Thank you Philippines for the amazing time and hospitality. If you want to see more photos of my other travel, head over to Instagram and Facebook account at Apple Miss Apple.